Someone asked if I could make a video to demonstrate the line method of multiplication. If we were to use, for example, 333 multiplied by 24, if we were going to use the Japanese line method to solve this problem, and then I will show you some different methods to also solve the problem, you actually have to have pretty good understanding of what you're doing here. If we were to start with 330, what we do is we draw our lines. The first three lines represent 300. The next set of three lines represent 30, our tens. Here we have our hundreds, our tens, and then our units of three lines. So here we are representing the numbers 333 with lines. Okay, all well and good. What do we do now then? Well, closest to our 300, we actually do two lines that represent our 20, 24. And then we do four lines that represent our four. And now we actually just have to divide the lines up. What are we doing here? When we, Which are our lowest, uh, the lines that have the lowest value? Well, three times four is gonna give us the lowest. So here we have our ones. Then here we have three times 20. So we're multiplying 10 units here and here four times 30. So these two sections here are multiplying. So here we have our ones. Here we have our tens that we're multiplying in our tens. And here we have 300 times 4 and 30 times 20. So we're also going to get hundreds here. So these two areas here are going to be representing our hundreds. And then here we have 300 times 20. So this last set of lines here is going to be representing our thousands. And now what we just have to do is calculate. And if we look here, we can see that we've got three lines crossing four lines. So we can see that we're going to have four times three. It's going to be 12. But let's just count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So here we have 12 ones. And that means that we've got two ones. And 12 ones means that we've got one going over to the tens units. So we put a one here that we have to actually add to our tens because we got the number 12. So that means one ten and two ones. So here's our first number that we're ready with. Now we have our one here and we've got to add all of our 10 units. So we start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we got 19, which means nine ones. And our one from 19 goes over to the next block, which is our block of hundreds. So now we're calculating our hundreds. So we start with the one that we had. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 again, which means we get a 9 as an answer and a 1 that moves over to the 1,000. If you want to cheat a little bit or go a little bit faster on how many uh, crosses we have here, we can see here that we've got 4 by 3 crosses, so we're going to have 12 here. And here we've got 2 by 3 crosses, so 12 plus 6, 2 by 3 is 6, 12 plus 6 is 18, plus the one we had to carry over, so 19. So you can actually look at the number of lines as well to help you with this calculation. Then we had 1,000, which we are going to add to the crosses we have in our thousands, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 by 3 is 6, plus the one we had, 7. So the answer to our multiplication then of 333 multiplied by 24 is 7,992 with the Japanese line method. Can we 
show it in any other ways that maybe makes it a little bit easier to understand why does this line method work well we could try the block method and that's that you actually write up in different blocks here here we have the number 333 which means 333 should be multiplied by 24 and then we take we we can start wherever we want to but we think that the product of the multiplications so we can put a multiply sign here the product of the the product of the multiplication always goes in this little square so if we think 3 times 2 is 6 and then we had 1 2 3 more zeros so 300 times 20 is 6,000. Next, 3 times 2 is 6. 1, 2 zeros left over. 30 times 20 is 600. And then we had 20 times 3 is 60. 3 times 2 is 6. And we had 1 zero left over. 3 times 20 is 60. So now we are ready with the first row. Now we carry on. 3 times 4 is 12. We have two zeros left over. So 4 times 300 is 1,200. 3 times 4 is 12. So one zero left over. That's also with. So 30 times 4 is 120. And then the last one, 3 times 4 is 12. So now we have all of these different products in we can just add the sum of them. 6,000 plus 1,200, 7,200. 600 plus 120, 720. 60 plus 12 is 72. Now that we have the, all of the sums, we just add them together and we get the final answer. So 7,200 is the sum of 300 times 20 plus the sum of 300 times 4. Then we had the sum of 30 times 20 plus the sum of 30 times 4, 720. And then we add also the sum of 3 times 20, which is 60, plus 3 times 4, which is 12, which is 72. When we have all of these squares and we can add them all up, we will get the final answer for 333 times 24. 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 plus 7 plus 0 is 9. 2 plus 7 is 9. And 7 plus 0 thousandths is 7. So we get the same answer for both the Japanese line method plus setting it up like this in the box method. So this is one of the ways of answering. So is there any similarity then between these Japanese line method and um, the box method? Well if we actually have a look here, here we can see we've got our units. These are our ones. Uh, we had 12 and if we look up here at our Japanese line method we had 12 in the ones unit. Then we had our tens and we had six tens which we know is 60 and then we had 12 tens here which we know is 120. And if we look back in our box method, six tens are 60 and 12 tens are 120. So here we have our ones, here we have our tens. And if we look here in our box method at our hundreds, we had 600 plus 12 hundreds. And if we look back here in our Japanese line method in our hundreds, we had first six hundreds and then we had another 12 hundreds, giving us Oh, it's 600 and 1200 here. And then our final box in was of 6000. And if we look where we had our thousands grouped together, we could see that we had 6000. So here, these two methods actually show quite a why the Japanese line method works. We have our ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And there are some more traditional ways and some not very traditional ways of doing multiplication and I will give you another video on using the lattice grid multiplication method and the very traditional method of, of um, 
calculating with double or triple digits and also even how you would calculate this if we had had decimal points like 3.33 multiplied by 2.4. So watch the next video and um, learn how to do multiplication in a, as quick and easy way as possible. Good luck!